Hey guys, how's it going? Hope your Christmas and New Year's has been good. You can probably hear it. There's a lot of rain happening outside. The weather's turned. So uh, about last week, lots and lots of sun. My plants were struggling. They were getting stressed and they look like this. Um, and it doesn't help that there's no dirt for me to bury those vines in. So growing in the world's smallest giant pumpkin patch doesn't help matters. But now we're at the other end of the extreme. There's no sun, there's lots and lots of rain, and there's a bit of wind. Yesterday I was talking to Tim and he was worried about the wind that was happening out of his patch. He was checking his pumpkins every hour to see how they were going. Now when he asked me how I was, I was like, yeah, there's no wind here because I've got uh, the house, a wall, um, a bush at the other end, and the other end's pretty closed up as well. But today, it's a completely different story. The wind is pummeling my plants and I'm not sure how they're gonna cope. I'm trying to think of what I can do. I, I don't think there's too much I can do. If I was, if I had all the vines buried um, and there was dirt, I could probably go through and do a lot more staking. Not too good, but hopefully this weather will pass and we'll see how we go. There's a few pumpkins already self-pollinated, which is exciting. I'm gonna see what they, see if they can reach it to um, the set stage. Between this episode and next episode, I've got a week off because it's my birthday and I normally take that off work and I'm going to Rotorua and I'm checking out some things there. So I will give you an update when I get back. Hey guys, it's a bit finer today. Actually, it's a really nice day. A little bit of wind, not too bad. Though my plant seems to be okay. I'm gonna show it to you in a sec. Tim's plant got hammered. 100 kilometer winds, um, check it out. Here's a photo. I'm not seeing Tim this episode. Sorry if you're hanging out to see Tim. I'll catch up with him later on in the season. But I do know that his farm got hammered as well, lots of trees down and um, like someone got killed in Rotorua where I'm from originally with a tree falling on him. Um, pretty sad, it was like a 150 year old tree just snapped. Anyway, back to the pumpkins. I've got about four pumpkins that are self-pollinated. I didn't get around to pollinating by hand, not at the moment anyway. Bit hard when I'm working mornings, I don't want to be crawling around 4.30 in the morning, I uh, start really early, so let's check out what I've got. Oh, and the oldest of these pumpkins is around seven, seven days old. So basically, here's the vine. Now I trimmed all the ones along there, so basically we're looking at a flag pattern for the vines. The main vine is this one, and I've stopped it, it stops there. Uh, and then we've got all the side vines coming off. So this would be the newest growth and old growth sort of over there. Um, I'm going to trim the ends, uh, especially this one. Look at it go. Uh, it's not very useful growing up the wall, but um, we've got one pumpkin right here. Now it's close to getting it out through the door. It seems to be okay. There's another better looking one, or further along one here. There we go. Whew. Over here is the oldest one of the pumpkins. So we're gonna see how that goes. Now I do know the blossom end of this pumpkin had six lobes and one of them was hideously deformed. So probably not a good option. Now when it was super, super hot, the plant was getting stressed and it was getting super droopy. And what I'm gonna do in a sec is I'm extending out the drip line, the micro irrigation. Gonna bring it all the way out, out here. And I've got some risers, which I'll show you. They're gonna basically mist the plant in the afternoon. And uh, hopefully there won't be any uh, powdery mildew problems. We'll see. This is like a pre-made, um, sprinkler head with the riser uh, it's a 360 degree mister the stake and a pipe and a connector now they come in packs of five if you want more than five it's cheaper to buy them separately but um i think i can get away with probably three so i'm going to lay that out and uh, we'll see how that goes um so i guess the biggest problem growing in the world's smallest giant pumpkin patch isn't actually the size it's the lack of dirt. You can't bury the vines, they can't get as much nutrients, they don't get as much water, it's hard to anchor the plants down, and you can't bury uh, the irrigation lines. So what I've had to do, I've just attached them to a little block of wood there, 
hold them upright. I'm just going to plug them in and then uh, we'll see if it works. So the pipe hasn't blown apart, that's good. That pressure reducer is doing its job. Now I did think these were going to throw water out further than what they were, but they are misters, so maybe my expectations were a bit high. So I need to buy a few more T-sections, it's always the way, you never seem to have enough of the stuff. But um, yeah, looking good, happy with what's happening. I'm going to trim some vines back, I'll do that tomorrow. And um, keep an eye on those pumpkins, you're just waiting until they get to like basketball size and getting set. Hope for the best and hope it, hope it grows giant. Uh, quick stop off at Bunnings because um, it's close to home. Two end caps, two T sections, and that should be everything for the irrigation. Fingers crossed. So, a quick tip if you're making video out there and you're using an external microphone, make sure that you turn it on because yesterday when I recorded this, uh, I forgot to turn it on and you have, can't hear what I'm saying. Actually, I have no idea what I'm talking about right here. Anyway, the gist of it was just to say thanks for checking out this video. I hope the season's growing well for you. Leave a comment. Let me know. You can either leave a comment on the website, under the blog post, on the Facebook post, which this will be posted into, or on the YouTube channel itself. And if you're on YouTube, how about you give it a thumbs up or maybe uh, give it a subscribe so you don't miss out on the latest episode. Now I do put a blog post with each of these vlogs, so make sure to check out giantpumpkins.co.nz as well. And the thing I was going to mention here, I'm keeping it a bit on the down low, but you guys are hearing about it first. I've been working on another project. If you get the pumpkin post newsletter from my website, you would have seen it in the latest edition of that. But I'm doing the pumpkin podcast. It's a podcast for pumpkin growers, um, where I'm going to interview pumpkin growers from around the world, all different levels, and I want to hear their backstories. I want to hear what they're up to, how they got to where they are, what they're growing, and what they're trying. Like, I think there's so many interesting stories out there that aren't being told. And I want to bring it to a, a medium that's I think is one of the best out there. You can listen to it anytime, anywhere. It's completely free. You can listen to it on the computer or on the phone. And there's just so much cool stuff you can do. You'll hear more about that probably in the next video. Uh, it'll be a bit more public. I'm just waiting until I get back from holiday so I can deal with people um, that want to have a talk with me. Now, I haven't done any interviews yet, but I have set up the website, so check out thepumpkinpodcast.com. Anyway, that's me for this week. I'm off for a bit of a holiday in Rotorua. I'll see if I get some footage while I'm there to show you some bits and pieces. Until next time, take care, and I'll see you next time.